for this region the slope for this this particular region from here till here this is the effect this is concentration so before we determine the slope uh, we let's take a look at some some of the basics okay uh, of mathematics and the calculus whatever okay so when f of x is equal to e to the power of n x then its derivative then its derivative as you are aware is n to the n times e to the power of n x okay and when f of x is equal to y times e power n x then the derivative will be y times n to the power of e times n x okay so if you are not good with these derivatives or something like this just go through your basics or go through Khan Academy Khan Academy calculus guys Khan Academy so it's, it's, this is pretty good for the calculus uh, okay so how do you find the slope the slope for this region from, from you know so we have to find out the derivative of the effect with respect to ln of c okay so the d of e over d of ln of c okay because this is ln of c guys by the way you all you all know that this is ln of c right let me rewrite it okay this is ln of c right okay so we need to find out the derivative for the effect okay before we do that let's do a small conversions here here effect is equal to e max i'm going to rewrite how c has e power ln of c e power n times ln of c i can write like this right so e power n ln of c is e to the power of n ln of c is nothing but c right okay so i'm write that like this e c 50 plus e power n ln of c okay all right so let's proceed now so this equation what do you think of this equation this is right now okay what is this equation represents this equation uh, is nothing but in the form of let's let's take a look f of x over g of x right so this equation i can write in, in the form of f of x or g of x right so this is nothing but so the so the product rule i hope you all remember the product rule product rule Again, if you're not sure of what product tool is, go to the khanacademy.com. So there's a detailed description over there. Uh, refer your calculus. So f of x or g of x is f prime x times g of x minus g prime x times f of x over g square x. Okay square x guys all right so again so now I'm going to put this equation our e is equal to e max or e to the power of n ln of c or ec 50 plus e to the power of n ln of c into this form okay right so I'm going to convert this so here as you can see this top portion one second this top portion this top portion is f of x and the bottom portion the bottom portion right this one is g of x right so i'm going to put this equation into this form so when i write that first i'm going to write f prime x f prime x okay so what is f prime x f prime x is e max 
times n times e to the power of n ln of c right and what is g of x next what is g of x right next I'm going to write g of x g of x is what same as it is you see 50 plus e to the power of n ln of c okay okay next what is that we have next g prime x times f of x okay next write g prime x is nothing but e c e c 50 okay so g prime x as you know as you are aware sorry one second g prime x is what so as you can see here g of x is e c 50 plus e to the power of n ln of c but e c 50 is constant right so then g prime x will become n times e to the power of n ln of c right and what is what is uh, f of x again f of x is e max e max times e power n ln of c right e max times e to the power of n ln of c it's just the same thing uh, take a look at this equation so the f of x is e max times e to the power of n ln of c right okay now so what is g square now let's take another color so what is what is g square x g square x it's nothing but the you have to square the bottom one the e c 50 plus e to the power of n ln of c right so g square x what is g square x let me change the color it's okay so it's nothing but e c 50 to the power of n plus e to the power of n ln of c whole square right okay now we have everything we have uh, f from x times g of x minus f of x g prime x over g square x we have everything now let's put it in equation as you can see so we have f from x g of x g prime x f of x and g square x right so now now let's put all together so now first f prime x let's take a look at this f prime x what is f prime x this is f prime x e max times n e to the power of ln of c okay let me cut that okay relax let me this is f of x right f sorry f prime x next what do we have next what do we have g of x now sorry g of x this is g of x let's take g of x g of x let me minimize this guys because this is too big let me minimize this hope this is visible okay now now what now f of x g prime x right f of x g of x let's take let's copy this mm. hmm it's a bit hard let's copy this Okay, let's copy this here and let's copy this here. I know this is a little time consuming guys. 
Just bear with me for a minute. Now I'm too lazy to write down an equation. Right now we have everything. divided by this is what this is f prime x right this is f prime x and this is g of x and this is g prime x and this is f of x divided by what do we have g square x let's write g square x you see 50 power n plus e to the power of n ln of c whole square right so now as you can see here okay this goes brackets here by the way and so e max times n times e to the power of n ln of c right times ec50 is same e max times n to the power of e to the power of n ln of c times e to the power of n ln of c is same as this right this whole part this part with this part is same as this so I can cancel these with this one so I'll be left with I'm going to write now down I'm going to I'm going to be left with e max times n times e to the power of n ln of c times EC 50 to the power of n right I'll be left with this equation divided by EC 50 so what is the slope by the way at what point we're finding the slope by the way here so slope we're finding at EC 50 right so here is a slope right so this at this point we are trying to find out the slope right so what is this point this point is EC 50 so here the concentration is equal to EC50 right at that point we are trying to find out the slope or the DE over D ln of C right so at this point we are trying to find out the slope so then our EC50 when EC50 is equal to C then I can say EC50 I'm going to rewrite EC50 to the power of n is nothing but e to the power of n ln of c right so I'm going to plug this ec50 here and I'm going to rewrite this equation right now as you can see okay so here e max times n times ec50 times ec50 to the power of n by the way divided by this is 2 times 2 times EC50 whole square right 2 times EC50 whole square so what will happen so this is nothing but E max or EC50 times n this n I just got it at the end EC50 whole square divided by 4 times EC50 whole square so this this whole square this square get cancelled then I'm left with the slope or D or D ln of C is a slope right is nothing but E max times n over 4 right then okay so f since I know the slope the value of the slope I can calculate the hill factor now I can calculate the hill factor n is nothing but 4m or e max right and is nothing but 4m or e max I'm gonna stop this lecture I'm running a uh, sh short time now I'm gonna stop here